Hey, I'm Tony Roach. You know, on my days off in the winter months, I love nothing more than finding some backwoods panfish lakes to explore. Uh, there's just so many out there that uh, just seem untouched. And I guess it's the hunter inside of me that enjoys it the most. But uh, just going out looking for panfish on various bodies of water, especially when it's out in the middle of nowhere, absolutely love it. Well, that didn't take long. A couple holes in and we're fishing. Oh, a little crappy. Kind of scattered all over this basin. You know, the wind's starting to pick up. What I love about sitting in a shelter, especially pan fishing, is the fact is when it's a really, really tough bite or if they're coming up subtly, at least you can detect that bite a lot easier than when you're out in the wind and you can control your bait a lot better. Man, that's a light bite. That's what I mean about being tucked away out of the wind so you can detect that bite. Oh, he's mad that he had a free meal. You can always tell these crappies, you know, they're, they're suspended. They're usually higher than the gills. We're in kind of a shallow basin. It's a little bit of a bowl area out here where these fish just kind of roam throughout the winter months. And typically the crappies, you'll see them just scream up to the bait. Whereas the gills, like I said earlier, they'll kind of hover or kind of lurk right underneath that bait. And really, you know, you can jig it to get them to come in. But once they come in, you're going to hold it real steady. Another nice crappie. Not a bad fish. Decent average size fish here, you know. That's pretty typical for the winter months, especially in a basin like this where the crappies are more aggressive than the gills. All I'm out here to do is catch panfish, hunt them down. You know, I've drilled a series of holes and I just stay on the move. As soon as the fish slow down or I don't see them in the hole, a lot of times it only takes 10 or 20 feet and boom, you're right back into the fish. That feels a little more gill-like. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. The crappies were just a bonus. But this is why we seek out these backwood lakes. And I tell you what, the bigger the gills, the lighter they bite. That's a real nice bull. It's always a challenge. It's like a, a game of cat and mouse with these big gills. You know, you got to just watch their every move on the mark. And that's why I love seeing that, you know, three quarter inch target separation. You can really tell when these great big gills get right on your bait. The Otter Hideout is, is one of the most well thought out designs when it comes to one man shelters, bar none. One thing that is noticeable right when you get in here is the nine feet of fishing space that you get inside this Otter. And of course it collapses down nice on itself, but you've got plenty of room for your gear and of course plenty of room to fish up front. The little cutouts for your legs are great because you can sit back in the sled a little bit, allowing you more fishing space up front. And of course, like all Otters, it's got the square tubing an insulated shell, and the seating system is super comfortable. I'm trying to get down to these bluegills and the crappies keep hitting, but I tell you what, I'm not complaining. Anytime you're catching fish, one after another like that. Well, just like that, moved holes, and boom, fish right back in the screen. And again, I'm, I'm not moving very far. You know, a lot of times it's 20, 30 feet, but because I'm in this one-man hideout, I can stay out of the elements. You know, it's raining, it's windy out, and it's really not the most desirable conditions to be out hole hopping, so this is a perfect day for fishing in a one-man shelter. Another one, man, there is like a layer of crappies that are so aggressive. There we go, that's a better crappie. There's a nicer one. Nice looking fish. Man, I love it. Out of the wind, out of the elements. I don't have gloves on, I don't have a hat on, and yet I can still finesse these fish in. <laughs> there was a no doubter there. I knew that one was a crappie. You can just tell the way they act on the screen. There he is. Never gets old. Nice fish. That one's not bad. And that's the key to catching panfish all winter long is just staying on the move. And not only just staying on the move, but adapting to your surroundings. You know, we got out here, it's kind of drizzling, snowing, which is 
a little odd for this time of year. The wind started picking up. When we are dealing with finicky panfish, it's nice to get out of the elements, not only stay on the move, stay on the bite, pattern them, put more fish on the ice. Until next time, I'm Tony Roach. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.